Hi, Holland Hume here, filling in for Myrna Hume. Today I wanted to talk to you about painting pumpkins instead of carving them. And we have a lot of different styles here, so we're just going to briefly touch over a few of the main styles. Now the first one I have here is our standard painted pumpkin. Now when you paint your pumpkins, you can use either poster paint or acrylic paint. However, you do need to keep in mind that if you use poster paint, you need to keep your pumpkin indoors. If you're worried about your pumpkin being exposed to the elements at all, you really need to use acrylic paint. Now, if you don't really want to buy a lot of acrylic paint, or you just don't have the supplies around you, all you really need is white acrylic paint, and then red or black permanent markers. And with those three tools, you can really make a lot of fun different designs. The second style we have here is a stacked pumpkin. And we have a few different ones here. We have a vertically stacked pumpkin, and we have this lion one here, which uses a gourd. And you really don't need to stick to pumpkins. You can use any type of zucchini or gourd. You know, let your imagination go wild. We have a frog one over here. And we also have a little kitty one back here. And when you're making these stacked pumpkins, for the small ones, all you need is a few chopsticks from your favorite Chinese or Japanese restaurant of choice and you break them in half and just stick them in a pencil sharpener till they're nice and sharp. Then you take any sort of tool. I have here a mini uh, pitchfork type tool and you just stick a hole in it before just to kind of make it easy to put the chopstick in. Just push it through. Make sure you do it to the other pumpkin as well and then just slide it on and you have your pumpkin. The third style we have here is fake pumpkins, and these work really well if you're concerned about the weather in your area or you don't want anything rotting on you accidentally. And you can find these at any craft store. And what my assistant did here is she used a Dremel tool, she cut out the bottom, and then she cut holes in for fake jewels. And this works really well when you put a light inside, see if we can get it going here. It has a nice little effect. One thing you want to remember is when you're using the fake pumpkins, you don't want to use a real candle because it will catch on fire and you'll have a big, big problem. So those are just some of the designs we have this year. We hope you can use some of them and make some really great pumpkins for yourself this Halloween.